plea was enough to pique Zeleny Floro's interest. She commented on the post, but her request for more information yielded a daunting response. After hearing the extent of his medical needs, we decided it was too much for us to take on in addition to the three other children already in our home, she wrote. But then, Zeleny Floro saw two more posts imploring someone to consider taking the baby in. With that, she couldn't scroll by anymore. She called the hospital to find out the truth about the tiny tot. I wanted details, the good, the bad, the ugly, she said. What Zeleny Floro found out was that the hospital had never seen anyone quite like him, she said. The baby had a serious condition, bilateral proximal femoral focal deficiency, class D. In general, PFFD causes the femur bone to be malformed or missing, but class D is the most severe version, and the baby had it on both legs. Not only was the baby missing both bones in his thighs, but he had no hip bones either. And if that weren't enough, doctors believed that he might have fetal alcohol syndrome too. This occurs when a mother drinks with a fetus in utero. It can result in the child being born with brain damage. As Zeleny Floro spoke to the child's nurse, she assumed she would try to talk us into taking this baby, whether it was the right choice for our family or not, the mom of three said. Instead, the nurse simply provided plenty of information and encouragement. She had, after all, adopted three children of her own. And those words were exactly what Zeleny Floro needed to hear. The nurse talked me into saying yes that day, but she didn't have an agenda. It wasn't just because it was what he needed. It was because she took the time to make us feel comfortable and capable of being what he needed, she explained. Before Zeleny Fleurel knew it, her foster baby arrived on her doorstep. Upon first glance, he was adorable, but many things stood out about him, she said. First off, the baby had a misshapen head since he'd been laid in the hospital bed for the first months of his life. Second, he was minuscule. Third, his legs lacked bone structure in their upper half. The infant appeared fragile, so Zeleny Floro feared everything. Was I holding him right? Was he in pain? Could I really do this, she recalled. But there was a light at the end of this tunnel. One of the baby's relatives was in the midst of a home study and would be able to take him home themselves upon approval. But it wouldn't be that easy for Zeleny Floro. In the meantime, the baby was the hardest baby we ever had. He cried a lot, he was sick all the time, never slept, had constant appointments and limited resources, she said. In the midst of all this, though, something unexpected happened. Zeleny Floro and her family began to fall in love with their foster baby. Our commitment grew, our hearts opened, she said. He was our son, and we made the decision that we would give all we could physically, mentally, and financially for however long he was with us. With that, Zeleny Floro had hardly any hesitation when she found out that the baby's family hadn't completed their home study satisfactorily. She recalled her caseworker asking, would you and your husband be willing to adopt him? Zeleny Floro said that they would. So, on November 15, 2017, which just so happened to be the National Adoption Day, Zeleny Floro and her husband officially adopted their baby. They made his moniker official too, selecting Charles as a tribute to a late family member. Of course, adopting Charlie wasn't the end of the road for Zeleny Floro. She still had to work with her son and fight for his healthy development every day. There was one silver lining, Doctors determined he did not have fetal alcohol syndrome. Meanwhile, after Charlie's adoption, he began to move in ways Zeleny Floro had never seen before. He came up with a new way of crawling before fully standing up on his own. He rode a scooter. He took steps with a walker and made his way upstairs. Then, one day, he walked six steps without assistance. All of these developments gave Zeleny Floro hope for her son's life. She said, I know there will be more hurdles to cross in the future, but for now, 
He is my sweet, sensitive boy who walks on his hands, who rides a scooter better than other kids his age, who loves his mama, and who will defy every single odd given to him. <laughs>